Well, here we are sitting on Beacon Hill uh, on Mount Vernon Street, the street that Henry James in, in one of his novels called the only respectable street in America. And this was the headquarters of the Watch and Ward Society. The Watch and Ward definitely represented class interests in the sense of protecting Boston at a time when the Brahmins were losing power and immigrant groups were coming in, uh, the Irish, the Italians, Jews, uh, Chinese, and uh, they saw, uh, in a way, uh, the, this uh, moral organization as a, a kind of uh, rear guard action against the, the changing Boston. One of the founders was Edward Everett Hale. He was an early vice president. He was a famous writer of the book, uh, A Man Without a Country. He was a Unitarian minister. And uh, despite the very progressive reputation that Unitarians have today, there were many Unitarian members of the Watch and Ward. There was really an effort by the Boston upper classes to do social work, settlement houses, do things for immigrants uh, and, uh, and the poor. And uh, many of the early founders of the Watch and Ward were involved in these kinds of movements and organizations. But the Watch and Ward was almost a kind of an adjunct to that. Like, there was a sense of noblesse oblige uh, that was running around here. And uh, the Watch and Ward definitely represented that.